All right, welcome to another episode of Ask Chief Streaming. I am your host, Chief Sarkan, a.k.a. Franklin. But that's the other way. Either way, it's me! Yay! We're back with another episode of Ask the Chief Streaming, as I said. And we're going to be back in Secret World Legends, where we left off last time. We were getting ready to investigate the survivors of the Margaret, the ship. Um because the doctor left his notes in the medical center, and this is part of the Dawning of the Endless Night series, the main quest storyline in Kingsmith. So let's jump right into the game and see what we can do. Here I am on my main character, my hammer and shotgun extraordinaire, and we are here at the doctor's office so if you look at the map we are right here at the end of the street we picked up the quest from the doctor inside the sheriff station and now we're going to go in and find out what is going on so let's go in Shh. dun dun Um, a little blood on the wall does not provide good tidings. Uh, there's an emancipated body here. That's even less of a good tidings. Someone did not make it out of the waiting room. What do we got here? Ooh, a picture. Oh, it's a CD case. Antonio Vivaldi. La Corta... Stungati. The Four Seasons by Vivaldi. Okay. That is probably an important clue for something. Ooh, what do we got here? Inspect a broken picture frame. Night Helen and I met under the fireworks set to the Four Seasons. The Four Seasons seems to have some significance for this guy. Handwritten note. Robert, I had a wonderful time last night. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Hope you enjoy the CD. It's the only by Vivaldi that Flags had in stock. Helen. Okay. Ooh, what's going on here? Can we zoom in? All right, time to go look at the computer. We have to hack the computer. Accessing case database. The information in the case database is strictly confidential. Please enter your password. Type in hint for a hint. My favorite composer, Vivaldi. Ha! <laughs> problem solved! Investigation missions contain challenge, problem solving gameplay. Clues and solutions may be found outside of the game. Yeah. Oops. Hey, I didn't want to escape that. I wanted to. There we go. Let's go back in. All right. Uh, I have to type the password again. Okay. Case. Divulging information from the case database could lead to fines, deregistry from the main medical board, and significant litigation. Oh, we better not look. Shh, don't tell nobody. Okay, case 40027, Deviant Teenager. Regarding patient Danny DeFrunzi of 10 Belmont Avenue, Referral, Mr. Rosin. Reason for real. Dev deviant behavior, including voyeurism and graffiti. Helen thought that this ass assessment would be the best way to stop Ms. Rosen from pressing charges. It was pretty funny. The YouTube clip of Rosen in his underwear watering roses. Diagnosis? Danny is fine, healthy young man. His sense of humor might make him some enemies. 
Case 437A1, Lady Marguerite, which happens to be the name of the ship also. Ooh, all right. Derek Creed, Lawrence Creed, and Joe Slater. Oh, I see, it was named after the ship. Okay, Lawrence and Derek Creed, business address, 5 Main Street. 20 Akin Avenue. Referral, they came to me after the Lady Margaret limped back into harbor. All of them needed help, so I arranged separate interviews. It's too early to tell, but something clearly happened on that ship. Derek Reed, or Derek Creed. Derek suffers from severe headaches and a keen sense of paranoia. The similarities with Joe Slater and Lawrence Creed are alarming. It seems the symptoms develop at an uneven rate, but I fear everyone on the boat might be affected with this, whatever it is. Lawrence Creed. Second consultation with Lawrence today. The headaches are getting worse to the point where he can no longer function normally. The paranoia has not abated and he has developed a new symptom night terrors. I have prescribed an antidepressant, but it has, if his development is anything like Joe's, I fear he will only get worse. I saw Joe again today. This was the fourth consultation and I'm at a loss. He was barely coherent. His left leg twitches and he obsessively scratches his right arm. Paranoia has developed into severe delusions consulted with Hartman in New York, who suggested the symptoms are most likely signs of schizophrenia, which echoes my earlier diagnosis. With others from the boat pre presenting similar symptoms, however, and the patient's lack of response to medication, I fear this might be something environmental, something eating away at the brain. Prescribed clizopine, but are not optimistic. Hmm. There's more on there. Okay. Fortune teller. Okay. Madame Rose. Real name unknown. Lovecraft Lane. Self appointment. No disclosed. M. Roguette. Roguet seems to suffer from a variety of deviant sexual fantasies, not least of which involve an improper, inappropriate doctor-patient relationship. Is there anything in here? Nope. Okay. So we're done. Okay. Find Derek Creed and Lawrence Creed. Okay. Out we go. There doesn't seem to be anything else here. See what we can do. So let's look at our map. So it says we're going to find Lawrence Creed here. Okay, we have to do them in order. So here we go. And just for fun. I love that ability. <laughs> What's this? Gone skating, Danny. Okay. Danny has left the building. some SP on that one. Got to get back in the rhythm of playing here. Hmm. 
Creed Brothers material. Nobody's there. This is the Creed Brothers, but I'm not finding anything. Usually there would be something to click on. Interesting. I wonder if I have to go out back. I bet I have to go out back. And to get out back, I have to go this way. The alleyway. That makes sense. Trying to look for a note on the door or something, and we gotta go out back. There we go. Ooh, a ladder. Let's go take a look. I don't think I need to go up here, but we're going to take a look. <gasps> we got legends! The Legends of Solomon Island. The Lady Margaret. So the new one is... It started with the stomach spasm that felt like reeving lamprey nest hatching in his belly. Then Joe could hear the hogfish singing the crushing depths. Even when he pretended he could not, even when Q-tips snapped in half in his bloody ears, maddenless bubbling in his brain like the bend, then pale flesh, then barnacle sores, ringling ghosts, and sea cucumber discharges. Now Joe feels the itch and burns as different species of coral battle for primacy of his chest, spitting up their digestive enzymes in time-lapse warfare. Something scuttles out of one body cavity to be eaten by something hiding in another. And through the seagull scream, a hundred thousand stories, all Joe can hear is, Drog, 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 drog. Ooh, ooh. That does not sound pleasant. Sounds downright painful, actually. Oh, I can't. Ooh, good thing falling doesn't hurt anything. Uh oh. Hey, we got Joe Rogers over here. Well, that was fun. It was a name guy. Must need him later. Okay. Continuing on in this dark alley. There's David Creed. Eaten mutated corpse. <gasps> Lawrence Creed has died. All right, now we need to find Joe Slater, which I think I just found, but it didn't give me credit for it because I did it the wrong. Ooh, 
and stand under the spooky lamppost. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Doo -doo. Okay. Where are we at? That's tier four. So we're working on tier five. Okay, tier four and five. Trying to keep track of my quest here. Steps four and five. Okay. Moving on out. Hi, people. Bloodstain going down into the sewers. Dun, dun, dun. You need to level up before you venture forth. Margaret, Madame Rogat, Henry Howarth, and some of the police station might still be in need of your help. Really? So he's saying, I can't go in the sewers until I level up. Well, that's bummer. Reach character level 12. That's good to know. So to finish number five, you need to be level 12. All right. Well, I guess we're going to go do some side missions until we can level up to 12. So let's take a look at our map. Looks like we got a bunch of stuff we can do here. There's a cleansing corpse there, severed hand there. All right, well, let's do what they said. Let's go back to the police station. So there's a severed hand. We'll save that one for now. Let's go back to the police station. Wow, piecemeal chopper. Oh, see, there's some quests right there. Let's try and stay focused on a systematic approach. So, what do you got for me? We got a supply run. Okay, supply run. Helen Bannerman and the survivors of the police station are running out of supplies. Go around to the stores and businesses in Kingsmouth, look for food and other th items. Okay. Grabbing the supplies. Okay. Okay, so we can't do this one at the same time because they're both these kind of missions. So we'll wait on this guy. Let's see if there's a side mission up here. Nope, he's got the same kind. All right, so where is it suggesting we go here? Oh, I got some some passive skills I can apply in. I can get some more health. 
If I go over to shotgun, I can get more hit rating for 15. That opens up get close and personal. Or do I want to get I'm trying to get to this one, the molten armor. Yeah, we'll go ahead and get this one. Oh, I don't have this one yet. Do okay. As I was saying, where am I going? Round town. Okay, find a local phone book. Okay. Six steps to the supply run. Call of the Wild, the pharmacy, and the gas station. Hey, can't you see I'm reading the phone book here? Back away. Now. Go to Susie's Diner. Okay. We can do that. What's up? Oh, I'm so sorry. Excuse me. I gotta get much better at my energy management. Ooh. It's Susie. Hey, Susie. She was a nice gal, Miss Susie. Going to Call of the Wild. Completed something there. Hi, guys. What got here? Looks like somebody already broke into this place. Collecting ammunition. All right. Next stop. The hardware store. Cool. Oh, we have to go into the hardware store. Oh, shoot. Who are you? He's kind of cool. Find the pharmacy. Okay. It's 
promise you got for us. Use the phone book to find the source of first aid. Okay. Good times in the city. The Volunteer Fire Department. All right. Ooh, what do we got there? Is that a legend? <gasps> it's a legend! Local history. A new clue, a new trail of the Illuminati thought. A year before the fire, a stranger broke into Solomon Priest's house trying to steal Illuminati documents. He was dragged away cursing. The eye of the pyramid focused and followed this man. Evicted from Kingsmith, he crept south, town to town, along the coast, toward the Spanish colonies, where he faded away. Nice open church. Okay. But we're going to the fire department. Now, we could pick up a side mission there, but uh, I want to stay focused. We can pick up the severed hand at any time. Ooh, there's a cleaner's corpse for another quest. Always keeping a lookout. What do we got at the fire station? Searching the fire station. First aid kit. We'll take that. Oh, we have to collect three first aids and kill a bunch of uh, firefighters. Because we got the little side mission as we walked up. Alright, so we got our first aids. So now we've completed zombie firemen. One more fireman, and we're good to go. Oops. Thank you for your contribution and efforts for cleansing the area. Reward of cash and collectibles. Nice. We'll open that up. What do we got? Luminous is buckle. Since we're here, what else is in the fire station? Ooh, a couple of guys. Killed Fire Chief McFay. Nice. What do we get? We got a sword. Okay. Is that enough to put that one over the top? It is. Yes. Okay, well, go ahead and take that one. For now. All right, let's see what else is in the fire station. Anything? <gasps> Legend! And there's another fire chief. All right. Fire 
Fire Chief Saul. Hi, Saul. Some more legend. You squint, you strain, are you trying to see us? You pathetic ancestors saw us. They tried to draw likenesses on the cave walls. People in Point Pleasant, West Virginia tried to draw us in 1967. Their eyes blistered red from the sight. We tried to warn them of the collapsing bridge. What do we look like? Where are we? Oops. That was a quick respawn. What do we look like? We are the eye of the beholder, locked out and looking in. Do not strain too hard, sweetling. Instead, let us warn you of the disaster. 300 years too late. Oh, so ominous. All right. Nothing else in here? Oh, hi, buddy. So... Open the map, click on the animal well at the sheriff's station to the animal leap back, place the supplies in the storeroom. What? Optional, open the map with an M and click on the animal well at the sheriff's station to the animal leap back. Oh, so if we wanted to do this, For 100 shard. Nope. Wait a minute. What did I just say? Free for patrons. Oh, well, I'm a patron, so I will do for free. Normally, I wouldn't do that because you could pick up quests and stuff like that, but in the sake of expediency, we'll go ahead and turn this in. Place the supplies in the room of the sheriff's station. Okay. Into the storeroom you go. Nice. We've completed it. Okay. Aiding the locals in the face of the inevitable, your tenacity is admirable, though perhaps a bit blue-eyed. On the positive note, you have provided us with some useful data on Kingsmith's town. We have clearer picture of the situation at hand. It doesn't look like look good, at least for the unfortunate civilian population but we still have a decent chance of containing the threat, and that's what you're there for. Boom. Still level 11, so we still can't do the quest. Oops. So, oh, we have a new mission up on the board. Missing persons list. Missing persons. Okay, let's do this one. Missing persons. Okay, locate a whole bunch of people. So, we got three over there, two over there. Okay, so they're all basically this direction. Looking for people. Looking for people in all the wrong places. Oh, the sun is coming up. Someone's over here, somewhere, oh, at the church. Take me to the church. Cool. There's an animal well at the church. Okay, we're going in the church. Located Martin. Okay. Hi, Chris. 
How you doing, buddy? Oh, wow. We got a lot of missions right here at the church. We'll have to pick up a bunch of those later. Okay, we have a mission there. And yes, we can pick up multiple missions at the same time. You can have up to three side missions. But since I am recording these one mission at a time for you and listing them out for you too, I will just pick them up one at a time. All right, so we've already seen Oh, we got to go back in here to locate the two fire chiefs. Because he wants us to locate Chief Soul, which we've done previously. He's right there. All right. Chief Soul has been found. quite the backup on the freeway. Oh, hey guys, what are you doing? Shooting me like that? <gasps> it's orange! Rusted Fire Axe Level Mythic. A valuable occult trophy taken from the field worthy of a tidy sum, be sure. It belongs in the museum. Let's check that baby out. Nice, we got a collectible. Cool, and here I was, just gonna go look at the road. Look at this thing. Gotta hand it to you, this is pretty impressive. It's quite the picture there, don't you think? to take a screenshot if I can remember how to I forget how well don't I feel silly how do I take a screenshot and hide the UI um, I forget I forget toggle interface control Z Take screenshot, F11, okay. Wow. Not, come on, work with me here. Control Z, ah, there we go. And then F11, gotcha. All right, back at it. Who are we looking for now? We need Joe Altern, Francis Eaton. Oh, there's somebody over here. Did we miss somebody in the fire station? Oh, across the street. Oh, hey, buddy. You guys look funny. Okay. Oh, over here on the steps of the house. Uh, 
Uh, somebody's had a bad day. Mary Brewster did not make it. That is a shame. I'm sorry, Mary. So, so sorry. Box of Squid. Another side mission for us to do eventually. Oh, and lost cell phone. Here's a legend. Get the legend. Our wisdom flows sweet. Revenants. Our wisdom flows so sweet. Taste and see. Transmit. Initiate. Plague signal. Receive. Initiate the murder of one. Now there's no going back. And there's something undead in your mind and your eyes and your heart and your head. <gasps> Illume the local legends of New England. Witness. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Ooh, Francis Eaton does not look like he's having a good day. Francis Eaton, you have been terminated. All right. Next on the list. Ooh, I can't go through there. But I can go through here. Okay. Nope. Nope, I can't go through there. <sighs> These zombies just never learn. Don't they know not to mess with a chick with a hammer? I'm not one to be trifled with, I'm telling you. That's why I said, sit down. Sit down, I tell you. All right. Such a pretty town when the lights are on. So oh, ominous when it's dark. Dun, 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 dun. Who we got here? Oh, we found Joseph. We found him earlier, but it didn't mean anything. And we've already been up there. So now it's time to find dear old John. I hope he doesn't give me a Dear John letter. That would crush my soul, and I might cry. Derek Creed, we've already found him. Have we been up in this corner yet? Nope. Oh, what's over here? Anything? Nope. Ooh, gunship. It's a gunship. All right. Locating John. John, John, where are you, John? Look how pretty that is. The Priest House, historical residence of Solomon Priest. I'm going to take a screenshot. That's a nice screenshot, don't you think? Pose, girl. Thank you. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Hey, you guys are hurting.
That was a lot of them suckers. And I was taking more damage than I expected. All right, we're locating John. Looks like he's in this alley over here. Ooh, town hall. Ooh, hi guys. Let's just mow you down. I should have done that with the last group. Hi, John. Ever feel like you're not getting ahead? Did they start you out at the bottom, make you go go down? I bet you all the office parties start at five and end at seven. Well, not everyone is full of shit. We've work, been working you, and we like what we see. Ever been to New York? This is not an invitation that never happened, just something to think about. Gun. All right. Well, now we need to find something to do to get to level 12. So we can go back to the police station and continue on. I can also look around for a second. We're here. What's in here? It's a city hall. Wow, I bet there's a mission associated with these. Hold it. Legend. Seventeen twelve fire. The town council, those who serve the eye and pyramid, believe the attack was on them. Precious occult archives, artifacts lost, but the citizens must be pacified. They howl like a mass of hungry dogs. These men of illumined influence feed the mob. Toss them two harbor workers who are not local, have no family, no one to mourn. The noose hung their necks. The mob is sated. Tell us, sweetling, which is more disturbing, that the guilty still walk? or that the innocent are so very desperate to kill. And by and by, the Illuminati were free to conduct the real investigation. They banged the Templars, that old, comfortable dance. But the children of the Eye and the Pyramid worship at the altar of practicality more than they bow to the shrine of grudges. Investigation, both mundane and magical, reviewed no evidence to damn their ancient enemy. A new clue a new trail of illumined thought. A year before the fire, a stranger broke into the Solomon Priest's house trying to steal Illuminati documents. He was dragged away cursing. Oh, we read that already. All right. Interesting. So City Hall. Let's go pick up another quest. So we need to hit level 12 and go into the sewers. Let's go down here. I think there was a... I got a couple of different quests here that I could pick up. We got the severed hand. And over here is a cleaner a workman. Let's do, let's do the worker. Cleaner's corpse. Let's do this one real quick. Cleaner's corpse. Alright, what's the cleaner's corpse got for us? The cleaning woman lies on the edge of the childless park. There are no shortage of dead in Kingsmith, nor of secrets that may have kept. The woman clutches a phone in her hand. There is a message flashing on the screen. Someone was trying to reach her. Maybe still is. As you can see, we can pick up three side missions at once. But I've been just picking them up one at a time. So, let's pick up her phone and see what's going on. 
You totally exaggerated these wounds. Just crawl over to the church and send me Hawthorne surveillance. You are like right there. The control pad is under the stone in front of the church. The code for the key is the first song he played, planned to sing on Sunday. Ugh. I'm forwarding to you someone else's in five. You know what that means. Well, someone has got something going on at the church. So let's find the hidden keypad at the church. Here we go. To the church on Sunday. Wow, there's lots of... Let's scoop these guys up. Doing the zombie laundry. Oh! Wow, look at that. Alright, so. Well, we need the code, and the phone said we needed a song. Oh. Oh, that's just somebody here. So, oh, song numbers, five, seven, six. Okay, so that's our song numbers, five, seven, six. Now we need to find a keypad. Let's look at our journal. Show image. On the, the stone in front of the church, okay. What stone? Ah, stone. Hidden keypad. Five, seven, six. Let's see if this works. Boom! Oh, it worked. Fine work. We shall pour over the footage to see. Oops. Hey, hey, I'm reading here. Now can I read? Is it okay with you? Okay, good. We should pour everything and really anything about Henry Hawthorne and the church. Most likely this was an attempt by the Illuminati to keep track of its most ardent fan, one who got a little too close. Outlandish surveillance is an Illuminati strong suit, though in their defense they do have a habit of attracting the eccentric. Well, all right. Got another weapon. And we're still not level 12. Now we can do some quests for him. Ride the motorcycle. Well, let me use it. Okay. Must have to have a special mission for that. So let's go here and do the severed hand. See what it's all about. Tomb Raider. We're going to do Tomb Raider. Ah, that's taking longer to get to level 12 than I expected. Okay, a decaying human hand lies in a box near Mr. Freezy's van. Wow, a day wearing a wedding ring lies in a box near Mr. Freezy's van. An inscription on the ring reads, Eric and Mindy, bound by love, 1874. Wow. Okay, Eric and Mandy bound by love, 1874. Now we get to go to the graveyard. This just sounds like a lovely mission. Hey, let's have some fun and go play in the graveyard. Look at all these zombies. Zombies, zombies, zombies. Okay, we're in the graveyard. Search for Eric and Mindy's grave. Well, that wasn't it. I want to see what that says again. So this is Tom Dexter. Surely missed by Shirley and Edgar. Okay. Who's this one? Eddie Stone. Illness took you from this earth, but never from our hearts. That's touching. 
Ray McGee, shop owner. Answer the final call of the wild. Ow! Okay. Okay. I say stay down. Alright, we got here. Samantha Henderson, beloved daughter. How beautiful life was to her. Interesting. Okay, any more graves and oh, there's a headstone. Oh, look at you. Here lies Joseph Blythe, known by some as Resurrection Joe, never to be whole again. Rest in peace. Dearly departed, depart my sat. Eric and Mindy, yay! Bound by death, 1875. Return the severed hand to the grave, okay? Go back with your love. Inspect, examine the hand. Oops. Examine the grave. Inspector of Mr. Freeze's hat. The hat looks new and is sporting a Mr. Freeze logo. I think we just, oh. Your report has been received and currently being analyzed and evaluated. Thank you for your contribution. We will contact you with more information as needed. Reward in the mail. And we're still not level 12. Okay. Time to find another mission. Predatory Ripper. Who is this guy? Mr. Freezy. Hey, Mr. Freezy. Mr. Freezy, I'm sorry to say, I've put your lights out. And another weapon. Well, I'm just full on weapons here. So let's upgrade this one. We now have a level 8 weapon shotgun. Nice. Nice. All right. And we're still not level 12. Sorry, folks. This can be a long show the way this is going. All right. Wasn't there another side mission over here by the park? So we've done the corpse. Oops. What's our challenges today? Challenge journal. Three main missions and daily challenges. Oh, a box of squid. A tentacle trail. Tentacle trail. Rotten squid fills the cartons and the stench rips the nostrils. Someone or something has a taste for putrid squid and several boxes have been pulled off the truck and empty. Follow the trail to find out who's snacking on smelly squid. Whatever gorged itself in the squid left an obvious trailer. Marks of discarded boxes. Follow the trail of the squid. Oh, there we go. 
The rotting boxes. Nice. down the side of the house but let's go to the top of the hill just so we can see what's going on here not enough hammer energy I really gotta work on my energy management okay oh hi guys Salmon the squid. Oh! Well, hi there, cutie! Ow! Nice! We just created, defeated a bogger lord. Your field report has been received. I got some more AP. Another weapon. But still not level 12. Let's jump back to the police station. We've been going for a whole hour. I hope this video, you guys aren't uh, too tired of me yet. Actually, we got a Sandy, Sandy Johnson mission. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here. That way, um, if you want to take a break and come back for the next episode, you can do that. That'll uh, save us um, making these videos too long for you. So with that, get over here. We'll wave goodbye to you. Oh, I guess character waving doesn't work. Anyway, you all take care. And I hope you enjoyed what we did so far. It ended up being more of the side missions than the main mission, but that's okay. We had a good time doing it, and we'll continue back up here with the next episode. We'll continue with Sandy Moons Johnson's quest, and then hopefully eventually get to finish up uh, investigating the dock in step five of the Dawning of the Endless Night into the sewers. So until then, you all take care, and... Have a nice day. Fair winds and following seas, my friends. Until next time, I am out.